We talked a bit already at a very high level about how co-reference resolution systems typically work. In this video, we'll look more closely at some specific co-reference tasks. First, we'll formalize the task of co-reference resolution. Essentially, given a text sample T, in performing co-reference resolution on T, we seek to find all entities and all co-reference links between those entities. Doing so requires that we perform two different subtasks, as already mentioned previously. We need to detect all entity mentions, which we can do by checking for linguistic structures like pronouns, definite noun phrases, indefinite noun phrases, and names. And then we need to link those entity mentions into clusters. The exact criteria for what constitutes a mention or a link depends to some extent on the data and task specifications. For example, some data sets don't include singletons as mentions, and in turn, since singletons are generally the largest group of mentions and are also difficult to distinguish from non-referential noun phrases, this can make the task much easier. Here's what the two-stage process of mention detection and then clustering looks like with a sample text passage, which is very similar to the passage that we saw in the overview of co-reference resolution video. We'll start out by detecting mentions. There are a variety of NLP techniques for performing named entity recognition on text samples, which we didn't have time to cover this semester, but that you can read more about in chapter 18 of the course textbook if you're interested. There are also third-party libraries that have nice off-the-shelf named entity recognizers like Spacey and NLTK. We can use named entity recognition to perform mention detection, and we can also build things like referentiality classifiers. We'll discuss this in a bit more detail later in this module. So we detect mentions, and as you can see here, we end up with mentions like University of Illinois at Chicago, Natural Language Processing, UIC, etc. Next, we cluster those mentions into groups. This can be done, again, using a variety of different techniques, and we'll cover this in a bit more detail later in this module as well. The clusters are indicated by different colors in the sample here. So we see that there's a mention cluster for UIC, there's one for NLP, and then there are a bunch of singletons in their own clusters. More specifically, you can see these clusters visualized in their co-reference chains here.